Turn it up, guys. What's going on? Welcome into Rover Sports, and today we're going to be talking about Josh Allen and his time playing the Miami Dolphins. This game was a mess from start to finish. Um, actually, not in the finish, but it definitely had trap game written all over it, and did it trap indeed. It, it took every ounce for the Bills to get this big-time win against the Miami Dolphins, and let's go and break down some of this tape. Even the defense was flawed in this game with Ryan Fitzpatrick at the helm for the Miami Dolphins. But nevertheless, I know that the volume on this video might not be the best, so turn it up and try your best to consume and enjoy uh, the video. All righty, so let's look at some pass plays here. From Josh Allen, um, let's go out and look here. So this is the first quarter, and they're able to get it down the field. First quarter of the game, and we're going to always look at a couple of throws in particular. So here you're going to see a clear out route, which is a good route to, to, to run against kind of this cover two coverage. So here Cole Beasley is kind of, Cole Beasley here has a little bit of separation, but Josh Allen is going to continue to scramble right. And in my opinion, in some articles that I've read about the Bills, they, they look at this throw as an overthrow, but the ball needs to be out and it needs to be out right here. This is the opportunity. You need to allow him to run underneath the football right here. So Josh Allen needs to let that go and be a little more decisive by the time that he lets the ball go. Um, which is going to be a little bit later on. That defender has already caught up. Here, John Brown, I want to see him kind of own the uh, field a little bit more. He's kind of going off towards the sideline. If Josh, if, if John Brown could have, I'd love for him to take it inside, utilize the entire end zone. Instead, he doesn't give a good target to Josh Allen whatsoever, and he gets bullied uh, out of the end zone and out of bounds. So, so there, I'd like to see John Brown. I'd like to see John Brown kind of round the cut a little bit. I'd want to see him round the cut. To, he's thinking, is this going to be it? Maybe it's a back shoulder ball. That's maybe what he's thinking. But I'd like to see him kind of round that cut. Like, here we go with Josh with John Brown. Um, I'd like to see him, especially here when he's on top of the safety, get up field, make it vertical. And I know that Josh Allen is afraid of maybe throwing that ball. But I'd love to see him kind of lob it. In, you know, a little bit more inside. And I guess Josh Allen's very afraid of throwing the ball inside because it would be intercepted. But I don't know. I just would love it if if John Brown can kind of shield that, that um, defender. And the whole route was just sloppy. Could have been a back shoulder. Could have not been a back shoulder. And kind of an opportunity there for the Bills to hit that. Okay, this is where Josh Allen needs to get a ton better, right? This has, you know, this has some Sam Darnold look look to it, right? Um, so here with Josh Allen at the quarterback position, what you want to see Josh Allen do, the last thing you want to see him do is you never should run 10 yards backwards. You know, this isn't Texas A&M. This isn't college football. This isn't Johnny Manziel stuff. What you want to see is Allen completely just stop. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. And these guys have to get open. I want to see him stop. He's going to take a hit. He's going to take a little bit of a lick. But here, everybody's jammed up really well. They have to win for Josh Allen. But he also, I mean, Josh Allen could scramble out here. I mean, he's going 10 yards back, and now you're dead. I mean, come on. I mean, this play is just ridiculous. It's never going to work. Josh Allen needs to hang in the pocket. And also, there just needs to be more solutions more quickly. The back, you need to have the back get out there in coverage. Look at this back. If this back's going to not protect, then this back should be leaking out here into the flat. Instead, the back, ah, gosh, too slow. Whether it's motor singletary, that back needs to be a safety valve against this. And guess what? If Josh Allen, if that back is able to do his Texas route quickly, right here, if you're able to get the Texas route quickly, it's a touchdown. It's it's zero coverage. It's actually the easiest coverage to decipher to to to, to everything. It's the easiest coverage to, to do everything with is zero coverage. Ah oh, man, 
and they just didn't audible it quick enough, and uh, and they got bamboozled. And those guys on the outside, it's not completely on Allen. It's some on Dable and some on those receivers not giving him any help whatsoever. Best throw of the day right here, guys. Best throw of the day, Josh Allen. I'll show you how tough this throw really is. So Josh Allen, it's cover two, middle of the field open, a.k.a. mofo. Uh, two deep safeties, middle of the field open, Tampa two. What, what Tampa two is basically, it means that the linebacker comes from his mic position and fills in the middle hole. But here you're going to have Dawson Knox, and he's kind of running, and he's running in the middle of the field. He's running a dig route, I believe, in the middle of the field. And um, this is amazing catch by Dawson Knox, and it's also an amazing throw by Josh Allen because he has the, I think he has the linebacker and he has one of the safeties that are coming through here to make to make it very very difficult. So, hold on, let's see this whole play again. Oh, I've watched this a lot. I still have trouble remembering which guys are where. So it's weird because from that angle, you're like, why didn't that safety hit the ball? Or actually, it's not a safety. It's a it's a linebacker that, that has to be up there, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and gosh. The bad part about this, too, from Josh Allen, the only bad part why this throw was made very difficult is that we can see over here that this linebacker here, or whoever he is, if he's a nickel corner, he goes to Dawson Knox down the middle. Um, maybe because John Brown is not here, but also Josh Allen with his eyes has to distract this safety longer or this 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 uh corner. He has to distract the nickel corner, the nickel linebacker. Uh, the nickel corner longer so that it doesn't have to be such a squeeze job. But this is an amazing throw. Nonetheless, the velocity, the accuracy, um, everything is incredible. And he puts it right on the back shoulder. And that's why Dawson Knox is an amazing safety blanket to kind of have. It is a nickel cornerback. He goes into his zone, actually. And what he ends up doing, or it might be a linebacker, what he ends up doing is he reads it really well and really alters this throw. And um, and Josh Allen, maybe by his alignment, thinks that he can really squeeze it in. And boy, does he ever. And that's between a couple of defenders. That's only where Dawson Knox can catch it. He Actually, the, guy, the linebacker can't get there in enough time. It is great. So here, Josh Allen, if he were to look at John Brown a little bit longer then, you know, he would probably, then that, that linebacker would probably not even alter this throw altogether if he can use a little eye manipulation, you know what I mean? So, still a big-time completion, still awesome, still fantastic, still the best. All right. Cover one. I like the shot by Buffalo here. Dawson Knox doesn't get inside position on this play. Okay, he gets beat by this by uh you know, the by this corner, which can't happen. Dawson Knox needs to win and he needs to win in and he needs to give his quarterback a target, which he does not do there. Okay. So Josh Allen, Dawson Knox does not give his guy enough room. Okay. Keep it going. This is horrible by Brian Dable. It's third and one. This you can't have this against the Eagles. You can't be making these kind of mistakes. This is a stupid call by Brian Dable. That's all that needs to be said here. It's third and one. Run the football. Buffalo ends up getting a terrible hold where they could have actually gone for it. And instead, they get a dang hold, 
and the whole drive is altered and ruined and destroyed. This is great. Digging out of a hole. Josh Allen here hitting John Brown. Then you're going to see a nice concept again from Allen and the Buffalo Bills. The timing is actually very good. And the throw is awesome. Right in the middle of, of I believe, let's see what coverage it is. It looks like cover three to the max, or let's see how many deep safeties. A little cover two zone, and the Bills hit it inside. Two guys running, Josh Allen, really good timing here. And also, he hangs in the pocket. He stays in the pocket, makes a good throw. So overall, like from Josh Allen, he, did, he was doing fine. Uh, he was doing fine in this first half. Good throw, leaking out into the backfield. Again, protecting Dawson Knox, and Dawson Knox can catch that ball. It's exactly the same thing. And the reason it's thrown behind Dawson Knox, as you can see up here, the reason it's thrown be you know, and, and first of all, it's almost a tiny bit behind, but he's thinking, he Dawson Knox is thinking, bracing about what he's going to do with the football instead of just catching the football. Um, so that's that's an easy that's something to correct in, in the practice. This is a big third and seven. This is a play I looked at a lot. The bill they go cover two man right here. Um, they get some good pressure from from either side of Allen. Allen here feels the pressure and nobody really can go open. John Brown is held down the field. Dawson not there's no separation there. So from Josh Allen here. Usually you don't tell Josh Allen to scramble, but if he were to scramble to the right, he would then have a lot of options. I mean, when they rush four guys and they have all these guys back in coverage, it's going to be hard for these guys to separate. And maybe over the top there, he separates a bit. Um, but th these linebackers are very disciplined, uh, actually, watching Miami. I was impressed a little bit with their with their discipline and, and this coverage guys is tight it's tight you don't want to force a turnover you know you got three in the bag but Josh Allen here I mean if 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 that guy isn't open he and and they only rush a couple of guys you know Brady some of the other quarterbacks would actually go out to the right extend the play a little bit um, which Josh is clearly actually capable of doing so if they're rushing four guys which the Eagles might do you know Josh Allen if nobody is open, Josh Allen might want to buy some time on this crucial third down to keep the play going. Uh, that's something that he could do. You know, Josh Allen, he could have went right. I guess it's it's much easier in hindsight when you're looking at the film. Um, but there was a little bit of pressure around him. And first of all, John Brown got held and, and there's just nobody open. And it's just really frustrating. Nobody can, can separate um, here. And that, that's just what's going to happen when you're a defensive team, when, when you have, you know, some personnel at the wide receiver position that the Bills do, you're not always going to get open, all right? And, and the strength maybe of Miami is their passing defense. The strength of Miami, that's an oxymoron there. The strength of Miami. But third quarter, things start to open up. So after that big... You know, after that huge drive by Miami where they screw it up near the goal line um, where I believe, yeah, Jordan Phillips goes out and gets a sack on Ryan Fitzpatrick on their first and two play where it looked like a tank play where they were doing it on purpose. It just was so wild that that happened. Uh, the Bills were able to get out of trouble. And this is where Josh Allen started to heat up, okay? Here we saw quicker throws taking what the defense gives you, and they started to run the football, okay? We had Motor Singletary and Frank Gore coming out of the end zone running the ball, 
And then Josh Allen throws an absolutely beautiful ball. Then on first down, since you're running the ball, they're 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 gearing up near the line of scrimmage. Your play action really works. The protection is wonderful. And Duke Williams ends up running a great over route. And the ball is thrown perfectly from Josh Allen. A next level throw by Josh Allen, showing the touch and showing the accuracy. Watch the throw again, guys. This is a big time, big time throw from Josh Allen. Josh Allen sees the throw, good anticipation, great touch, and a wonderful route by Duke Johnson there. This was his best throw of the day, um, along with the Dawson Knox throw. Um, two really impressive plays there in the third quarter from Allen, who has just a ton, a ton of ability. First and 10, they come out throwing, and here you see Josh Allen here learning from what we talked about, which is so great to see from a young quarterback. They blitz four guys, but here you see Josh Allen feeling the urgency and um, maybe getting the rust out. Maybe the more you think about it, they were getting rust out, and that's what Josh Allen, look at him use the pocket here. Look at him slide left. That's just wonderful quarterbacking from Josh Allen because they're putting all these guys back. It's cover two, cover two, and they're rushing four guys. It's a cover two zone look. And here, if Josh Allen sees this guy, it's a touchdown, you know, against cover two because you can beat the safety, which he did. Um, I think John Brown might have beaten the safety. And, yeah, he was wide open there. So that's a shame. Where was Josh looking here? He was looking left, so that would have been – Ah, that might have been the fifth progression. But nevertheless, the reason why I like that play, though, from Josh, he's, even though he missed the rail shot on the right side of the offensive line, and you see here he would have had to come all the way back. I liked how he utilized the pocket and how he found Cole Beasley, and he kept the, and he kept the drive alive. That's what I really, really liked, okay? How about this play? Now Dable's getting great. Now Dable is 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 doing a great job, okay? Because Dable in the first half was rusty too with those cute little dumbass third and one plays that Dable was doing. But here, this is wonderful. Get an easy completion, a little pick route for Cole Beasley, and this is huge to keep the drive alive and everything. What a beautiful concept by Brian Dable against man-to-man -man coverage. That makes you smile. That is awesome. And then it's touchdown time. John Brown comes all the way across the field, utilizing motion, which means it's man because he came with you, which means it's cover one man. And then you, what you're going to have is you're going to have Dawson Knox going to occupy that safety. And that safety, there's no way that he can get to John Brown. So all Dawson Knox has to do is occupy this guy. John Brown going to gonna look like he's going long vertically along the sidelines outside. And what he does is he cuts that thing inside. And Josh Allen has his himself a touchdown here, an easy touchdown against cover one man, and a great throw from Josh there on time and in sync. And really the running game helped out the passing game because they were able to go play action. So the Duke Williams play was all because of the running game. And there you see Josh in rhythm throw for a touchdown. And you're going to need about two of those drives um, a game at least, and then the defense might get you a short field. You might get some more field goals, and then bang, you're up to like 28 points scored. So overall, you know, because of the opponent, because of the opponent, people thought that this wasn't like a great Josh Allen game because of the opponents. But again, he's not turning it over. It's little minor details about, you know, extending plays when they're there, like the Cole Beasley thing. Um, it's also about these guys getting separation if possible. It's really about establishing a running game even a little bit. And against the Eagles, it is about taking deep shots down the field, which will happen. I think there was a deep shot uh, that I wanted to highlight. There was. So Andre Roberts here ran this deep route. And I want to see this against Philly. I would love to see it. Um, I love the concept here from Josh Allen. He rolls out. And then he gets over the safety. And I know I think Josh had pressure in his face there late. He did. So he had to get rid of that ball qu quicker than he wanted. But against the Eagles, that stuff might be there. Play action, long bootlegs. 
that's what the that's what the um, that's what the Vikings ran. The double moves might be there along the outside. Josh Allen, when you have him at quarterback, anything is possible. Um, six five can throw it wherever he wants. Such a talented quarterback to have, and that's why Dable is so excited to work with him. All right, guys, good win. Found a way again to get a win. It's a tough game to get up for it to get up for. It, it could be embarrassing. It, it is going to be embarrassing if you lose the game. So um, good win. And Josh showed some nice things in the second half. Um, there are some things to learn from. He can look off safeties here and there. He can extend some plays against the blitz. We can get better. Um, but against the Eagles, we should have more of a full picture. Again, the Bills only possess the ball 26 minutes. And a lot of it was short fields, turnovers, and long Dolphins drives. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Take care.